Hey everyone, it's your girl Miss Pretty in Pink with a new video. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I went and finally got my goddess locks done. I love them. But anywho, I came today to do a new video because I want to try some new products. So the things that you'll be seeing me using today, well, first let me show you what I got. So I got this Sydney Mini palette, another one. And then I also got this one, which I really like the colors in there, which looks similar to the Modern Renaissance palette. This new bronzer highlight from Black Radiance and the color is a flawless 352. I think it's gonna be really golden. I also picked up this black opal foundation stick in the color Karab because I want to try a cream foundation. I have a lot of liquid foundations. Finally found the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the color, I think it's hazel. Yeah, hazelnut. So I've been looking for this everywhere and I finally found it at Walmart. And I also got a new liquid liner. This is a Black Radiance one as well. So I want to give that a try. And finally, what I really can't wait to try are these lashes, and they're by Nakia Beauty, and they look like this. So, I'll let you know in the video which products I actually end up using for this look that I'm going to create, and I'll see you in a few. Bye. So here I'm just brushing my brows into place, getting them ready, and then I'm showing the Maybelline brow pencils that I'm going to be using to go ahead and shape my brows. So I use that darker color in the tail end and the lighter one in the front. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my LA Girl Pro to go ahead and shape my brows and then also use that blank space for a concealer before I start my shadows. I'm then also going to set that with the airspun powder. And then you'll see me setting my face as well because I would get really oily really quickly living here in Miami. So I just wanna make sure that I have a nice base before I go ahead and put on my foundation. Go in with this color as a transition color. So at this point, I'm just blending in that transition color, making sure I get it into the creases this orange shade here and at this point you just want to blend blend make sure that that transition color and that orange shade is blending in nicely together so now I'm going to be taking that darker brown color and then I'm going to be adding that into my crease professional eye crease brush so I'm taking that brown color dab it in there and I'm going to go right in the crease. I'm now going to take that pink color and I'm going to add that into my inner lower lid starting from the back. Ellie Girl Pro and go in. So I took that LA Girl Pro and I went ahead and made sort of a cut crease just so that I can have a blank slate for the shadows that I'm going to place. And then I took that Real Techniques brush and then just blended out that pink shadow again just so that I don't have a harsh line from the concealer. So now I'm going back into the Maybelline palette and then into the Wet n Wild palette and just blending out the colors. And I'm pointing out those colors as I am using them. So I'm going in with that black just to deepen up that outer V. And then I'm going back in with that gold color in my inner corners and then just blending all of those colors together. So now I was taking out the black liner that I thought I would be using and it was not a good look. Yeah, like I just purchased this like straight out the wrapper, straight out the package, it's still nothing. Black Radiance. That was a fail. So it's a gel liner. I'll go ahead and dip that in there. Like like opal. So this is what it looks like. This is how much you get. Yes. 
brush to blend that. It blended out pretty well. I think it's a pretty good color match because again, my face is darker than the rest of my body. So like it blends out to match my shoulders and then my chest area. So I think it's a good match. Night. Uh, yes, this is quite well covered. So again, I'm going to try the Nakia Lash. That is one heck of a lash. So now I'm going in with my Holy Grail contouring palette, which is the Black Radiance in Deep, of course. So now I'm just going to blend this around everywhere that I use that liquid contour from Makeup Revolution. And now we're going into my favorite part, the highlight. Oh, wow. She is pretty. Just a tad bit. All right, so I am back with the finished look. And I have to say, like, I'm pretty satisfied with the outcome. So, as far as the products, love this concealer. Like, it looked beautiful. It was really thick and drugstore brand. Definitely won't be buying any high-end concealers anytime soon. The black opal, I love this well. It blended out really nicely. At first, I was a little concerned about the shade, but I think that it was perfect. Then flawless oh my gosh i love this highlight like do you see this that is gorgeous i love it and the two palettes were amazing so the city mini i use that brown color there i use this gold at my inner crease this purple in the center of my lid and i use that black on the outline and then the Wet n Wild palette was just as awesome. I used this color here for my transition. I used these three colors within my crease and on my lid. And then on my eyes, again, I am wearing these Nakia Beauty Lashes. I mean, they are a lot more than what I typically do with the lash. Like, I'm pretty simple with lashes, but... I like them. I mean, anniversary's coming up, so I guess I can be a little extra. And, but Black Radiance. Loved you, loved you, love you for giving me this. But, what is this? Like, I literally opened it out the pack and nothing, nothing. Scrubbing hard as I can and I get nothing. I have pretty high hopes for this because they usually deliver with their products, but... Overall, this is my finished look. Alright guys, so the next time I'm going to go ahead and try out that bright bold color. And, you know, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. And I'll be back for another video soon. Bye. Be sure to go and check out my Instagram page at Pretty in Pink Makeup. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Catch you later.